Hey guys, Janessa here. And I'm Danielle. And, and welcome to our YouTube, YouTube channel. <laughs> I am so excited to be filming today, you guys. I'm gonna be doing both of our makeup looks today for our secret event, which you'll be finding out what it is at the end of this video. So keep watching. Yeah, also Danielle is launching her own website for her styling. I'm so, so excited. excited. I'm so excited. So today you guys, we're going to be doing a photo shoot after we film today. So everything that um, Janessa is doing for our makeup today will be great for photos. And you guys obviously saw some of the tips and tricks I gave you guys last week when it comes to styling and putting an outfit together. So I'm going to be launching a website and we'll keep you guys posted on when it launches. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start off with my makeup and then I'm gonna do Danielle's and I'm also gonna be showing you a little bit more of the makeup that I use and give you a few tips on what to do as well. Cause she is a pro! <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm drying off my face, but we thought we would kind of show you guys our routine that we do when we get out of the shower and some of the products that we use so you guys can see. So I am very natural. I have only a couple products I actually use for my face and for moisturizing. So when I wake up, I have one moisturizer that I use that actually has SPF and sunscreen to protect my skin. And then I also have um, a night cream that I use at the end of the day to really moisturize and kind of sink into my skin um, overnight while I'm sleeping. So we will show you guys the first one that I use right now. So the first one that I use for the morning is I use L'Oreal Revitalift Bright Reveal. It's brightening moisturizer and it actually has sunscreen and SPF 30. So it actually looks like this. And then all I do is I like take it off. It already has like the predetermined pump that you do. So I honestly just kind of pat that between my hands and I just put it all over my face. And I really make sure I work it around in like a circular motion, all up on the forehead, underneath the eyes, which you're actually supposed to use these two fingers because they're the weakest in your hand. So I just rub it all over until it sinks in. So one thing I want you guys to know, and this might not work for you, it won't work for everyone, but I actually, growing up, used to have absolutely horrible acne all over my face, on my chest, on my back. So something that I actually um, figured out that actually helped my skin a lot and prevented um, any kind of zits or acne is actually moisturizing, heavily moisturizing my face so that my skin doesn't overproduce oil and make me break out. So I actually moisturize twice a day, once in the morning and once before I go to sleep. And obviously I use really good products so that it doesn't clog my pores or my skin. Um, kind of nicer products that again are just gonna give me that moisturizing effect so that I don't get acne. So again, that might not work for everyone, but that's a tip that I um, kind of took on myself that again really helped clear up my skin. So yeah. And then the next thing I do is I brush my hair. So what I do is I actually use a wide comb um, to brush my hair. I actually don't ever use a brush anymore um, just because I don't want to break the ends of my hair and get split ends. So I actually always just make sure that I comb through my hair um, just because I think it's a little bit easier on it and it damages less. So I will brush all the way through it and then I'll show you guys um, the oil that I put in my hair that just makes my ends feel healthier, makes my hair feel more moisturized. Um, and then that's honestly pretty much it before I start blow drying my hair and like doing my makeup. I'm a pretty simple gal when it comes to cosmetics, so there you go. Alright you guys, so after I have completely combed through my hair and parted it, the last thing I do is I actually use this product. So it is called Argon and Moroccan Oil. I am absolutely obsessed with this stuff. I actually just get it at Target. It's really, really cheap and it lasts me a pretty long time. And then I honestly just kind of put like a puddle in my hand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, nothing too big, like the size of a quarter. And then I honestly, I like flip my hair over and I just like start at the ends and then work it all the way up to my roots. So I'll kind of like do a flip, just kind of work it all the way through all the way up to my roots and my ends. I kind of just scrunch them. And that's like what I was doing when I was flipping my hair down as well. Um, so yeah, and then it gives me, again, just a little extra moisture and um, a little bit of volume 
before I blow dry my hair. And that is honestly all I do before I do my makeup. So I usually like to start off with eye cream and I just have this one by nature. It is collagen rich, which you always want to try to find something with collagen or with coconut oil. Anything all natural um, is gonna be good. And I just got this at Marshalls. So I usually put on a little dot like that. Rub it in, and you just want to dab. You don't want to rub, just dab. <laughs> dab it on there. <laughs> Next, what I like to do is use some sort of hydrating serum. And when you're putting on any lotion or serum, you always want to go upwards so that your skin doesn't sag down. So upward motions. And don't forget about your neck. Always want to remember to get that. I did not do that when I was younger and you can definitely see more wrinkles. So anytime you put face masks on or um, lotions, serums, don't forget your neck. So this is the oil that I use. I've only tried this product from them. Um, and then after that, I really, 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 really love this Bare Minerals Combo Control Milky Face Primer. I have a really oily T-zone and I tend to be a little bit drier on my cheeks, so this definitely balances me yeah. out. Once again, just a little bit. Alright, so that is what I do after a shower, and for my hair, I do the exact same thing as Danielle does. I put a little bit of coconut oil or Moroccan oil, and you always want to start at the end. Work your way up to your roots, and uh, you're good to go. So, on to the makeup. Alright you guys, so let's get started. Um, I already have my face primer on. Also, I like to put either coconut oil or like some sort of lip balm to start off with. Um, just because, you know, during your makeup process you have like a bunch of powders and like stuff falling down and like in on your lips and you just don't want your lips to be crusty. So I always have chapstick on while I'm doing my makeup. So the first thing that I'm going to be starting off with is the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream by It Cosmetics. And just so you guys know, I'm trying to switch to uh, cruelty-free products. I, uh, I really believe that testing on animals is not the way to go. And I know that I, I love a lot of brands that do. But I am trying to make it a habit to switch all my makeup products to cruelty-free. And eventually, I want to switch them to all-natural. Blush kit. 
I love this, which by the way, cruelty free. She does not test on animals, which is a plus. And her eyebrow, oh my god, her brow, everything brow is just amazing. So I use this shade right here um, for my contour. just to give that like glow, especially during the summer when you get a little bit more tan on your body. And I just use this bronzer from Stella, I believe it is. I love it. sure to wash your brushes that is going to cause a lot of breakouts a lot of bacteria can um, get built up in there and hold makeup and it's just gross or you can do what Danielle does and just buy a new set okay so next I work on my brows um, I just use elf the darker shade which this comes with gel and a powder. Onto 
Danielle's look. professional but she's pretty damn good let's be honest <laughs> so make sure to check out next week's video and make sure to also follow our instagram page as well right here we'll link it for you guys right here ready to go i'm ready to go all right but don't worry guys we didn't forget <laughs> we are ready to tell you our huge surprise are you ready yes are you ready so we are going on a trip together. You guys already know this. Where we are going, we are going to Minnesota. Minnesota! Minnesota! I have never, ever been to Minnesota. So I am so excited to see where this beautiful lady comes from. Oh, so I'm going to meet her mom and her family and everything. So it's going to be awesome. Yes, it's going to be so much fun. So we're going from September 6th to September 11th. And again, I'm from Minnesota, so we're super excited. I'm gonna show this lovely lady so many different parts of my state and some of my favorite parts. Um, and then also while we're there, the big event we're going to, my cousin is getting married. All of the um, styling that you guys saw last week and all the makeup this week is actually preparing for the wedding that we're gonna be going to while we are there. And we are gonna be doing so many fun things in Minnesota. And I've never in, been. I have mm -hmm. never been to Minnesota, so this is all gonna be new. Uh -huh. And just to tease a couple fun things, we'll keep the rest a surprise. We might check out the Mall of America. We might go to Minneapolis and St. Paul. We might do a lot of other fun things that you'll have to wait and watch our video <laughs> for. We are going to vlog every single day. We're probably gonna do um, like a mini series and call it like mini soda series. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. And we'll be posting every day that week, so. Well, tune in next time. <laughs> so check out our video so, next week. Uh, Stay tuned, stay but tuned. not tuned because we keep using that. Okay. And we're stay tuned, but like don't because we've said no, stay tuned we've like said 18 a lot. times. But um, that's okay. Stay tuned. Alright, guys, on to the photo shoot. Until next time, guys. Bye.